This is Dr. Claudia Kotka from the Washington Institute for Dentistry and Laser Surgery. I'd like to just take a moment and just highlight very, very briefly on the interesting topic of systemic conditions, for example, diabetes, and how this particular condition affects the oral condition of the gums, of the underlying bone structure, even the jaw, and of course the teeth themselves. So diabetes, one of the most complex conditions that we know, diabetes is highlighted by the fact that um, one aspect of the healing component is not as is supposed to, or not as expected, not as ideal. Therefore, there's a delayed healing potential. And of course, diabetes is, is um, described and, and, and incorporates many other deficiencies themselves within the actual condition. But I just like to focus on one particular variable and how that particular variable um, affects the, the oral cavity um, and the mouth. Um, when it, there's a delayed uh, healing potential um, in, the, in the body itself, of course, any type of infection or any type of antagonist that you might have, either a flu or cold, or for instance, just inflammation or swelling or irritation of the gums, whether it's from a potato chip or whether it's from the fact that you may not have had six months general checkups, um, whatever it is, the body itself, because it doesn't react the way it is meant to react in a natural process, in a natural um, expected rate, certainly is going to have an impact on how your gums and eventually also how your teeth will react with time. And so there is an expected breakdown early on. Certainly, in those scenarios, of course, we want to be more attentive to what the condition will require uh, in terms of treatment, and not only that, but also maintenance. For additional questions, please don't hesitate to contact us at www.dclaserdentist.com.